Greetings, Arisor, and welcome back. In this exercise, uh, we will solve this equation for y. As you can see right here, we are missing two variables, x and y. Before we solve this equation, we have to group a number on the right side and then the variable on the left side. And then we be able to solve finding a value of y. So adding 5 to the both sides of the equation, we have minus 5 plus 5, it becomes 0. And why? Because we know when you have it, the same number with a different uh, sign, uh, they became a, a zero. And the new equation will look in this way, x times y plus six times y equal 18. To simplify, you have 18 on the right side as a number. You have a variable with x times uh, y plus 6 times y. And we know we have to take y out because they are the same number. So we have to take uh, y out and become x. So the y is time the whole thing because if you want to put it back, you'll be able to know that y is times x plus 6 times y. So, and then equal 18. And what are you going to do? You're going to divide it x plus 6 to the both sides of the equation. And when you divide the same numbers, this, on the left side it became 1, and then on the right side will equal 18 divided to x plus 6. And that's the answer for uh, they're asking you to do because there's no way you can take uh, x to become a zero so this is still the same thing and uh, the same way you can apply if they are asking you to find a value of x because uh, you have what you we have normally we have a missing one variable like x or y but in this case, for our problem, we are missing two variables. And then that's why the question, uh, it becomes asking for one variable, which is for this example is y. And you can see uh, the question in different way where they're asking for x. And thank you.